So tell tell me a little bit about what made you decide to come to a three day workshop. Uh, for me, I've been handling for a while, but was not confident in my handling skills, and it. I wanted to get better handling, and I also wanted my dog to have more confidence, as well as myself have more confidence. Um, so that's why I came. Did you have you shown her a couple of times? Or? I have. She has one point. Woo. One point. Woo. Yeah, she what, is. What, what was she doing in the ring that you weren't happy with? She was unsure of herself and um, seemed to be easily frightened, and I was unsure of my skills and. She and was, also, she was well. fighting with uh, with me as far as uh, trying to stack her. She was very difficult to stack and moving and twitching and doing and blah, blah, blah. Movement was not a problem, but stacking was torture. So I really needed to, needed to get some help with that. And Joe, what about you? Well, I'd had uh, Virgil since September. Uh, he'd been to three shows. One was a puppy match, which he won group two at which was the wow. most fun show I had. And as the, as the shows went on, the worse I got. <laughs> and the less fun I got. And I realized, you know, it was hard to find a trainer locally that seemed to be either available when I could do it, or there was very little. And I went online to YouTube, good old YouTube, and I saw Eric's uh, workshop in Seattle. And then I saw the Australian one, and then I sent uh, the Seattle a copy of the Seattle, a link to the Seattle one to Chris, and said, "Hey, look at this. This guy looks like he knows what he's talking about, and it's very interesting." And so it went from there, and Chris was enthusiastic and said, "Yeah, let's check let's into this." So we did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and and that's a lot of money you spent. I mean, with flying and renting a car and a hotel um, and things like that. Um, was it worth it? Be honest. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Why? 100%. It's worth it for the confidence I feel in ha knowing what my goals are now and where I was doing things wrong. I haven't perfected anything, but I have, uh, I have a program. You got a nine and a half out of ten today. That was pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I, I, got, a, I got a ten. Five. You so. got a ten. Yeah, so there you I go. I shouldn't be sitting so That's close right. to you. That's right. You can go home now. Move away. <laughs> really nice. The hotel has been great. The people mm -hmm. here are definitely dog people. I've never seen so many dogs in my entire life in a hotel. You would think yeah. there's a dog show going on. This is what everybody <laughs> has said. Yeah, is there a dog show in town? I, said, I don't think so. I think we're all just here. All varieties. Old, young, any type. Mutts. Purebreds, yeah. everything. Everybody's here, and the people behind the desk are phenomenal. Uh, they just are really, really accommodating to you. So this is a great place to stay if you've got a dog. Okay, so you the next morning you wake up, and then all of a sudden Eric's sitting in a room. Take us through that. <laughs> well, no, you walked in the door and gave us a hug. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was, like, that was the opening. The in. opening. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and yeah, so then we sat down to a seminar. That was two or three hours, I would mm -hmm. say, and with a syllabus <laughs> and a very and detailed syllabus, syllabus, yeah. syllabus mm -hmm. and uh, some nice uh, articles. And um, but you went through it very systematically. I thought uh, that background, was amazing. For really me, that nice was background so on dog behavior yeah. and how they're put together, and and then going into. Um, the rest of the syllabus, I mean, not the rest of it, half the of it, I suppose. The classroom things. Mm -hmm. Sort of what you were going to introduce when we got to the practical, I believe. In some of the things that were in the classroom, were there some things that shocked you that, that you didn't even consider that would be a factor in a classroom of training dogs? Yes. Like what? Um, well, I mean, it sounds silly to even say it, but um, the respect and... and acknowledging that with the dogs it is really funny when you're trying to get them to do something and they're such bright animals and I mean this that has been demonstrated to me aptly in the class when Annie looked at me today like what are you doing lady <laughs> um, I, they're so bright they get it I'm amazed three days later where she is from where we started yeah so we went day. to the to the um facility the training center the oh, training right. center and you right. introduced us to more to the nuts and bolts of showing what the schedule was for showing what the routine is 
you know, as you walk into the ring. Well, you asked us, first of all, to go ahead and just walk into the ring as we would do. <laughs> and that was a huge learning experience because, as you said, we both kind of schlepped in. Yes, we're like, what, what are you guys doing, selling bananas? Or what? <laughs> <laughs> Certainly not showing dogs. What? Right, you didn't right. do that right? I mean, this is for so, real. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was... So you learned the importance of looking good from the moment you stepped into that ring. Absolutely, Surely and so. at each step, yeah, there's, yeah. yeah, you go into that ring to win. You you go you do your down and back to win. You do your stacking to win every single portion. You've got to She's nail good. it. She is good. <laughs> I, I like that. Well, you um, did. You the facility that we used, Mind Your Manners Dog Training. Tell me about what you thought of the facility there. Excellent. I thought it was excellent. Yeah, it was and great. It was very. I mean, grand. Nice rubber a, mats on the floor, so mm -hmm. it wasn't just a concrete floor. That was very nice. Um, still could clean up plenty of uh, puddles. <laughs> <laughs> if your dog happened to go to the bathroom, yeah. Yeah. your your dogs yeah. love going poop and pee there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so they yeah, see it, it was clean, well lit place for mm -hmm. dogs and humans. It did everything you needed it to yeah. do. You and, could do and your down and back easily. You put the cones, so we learned to go in and out of the cones. You know, going around the room and avoiding stopping in the corners. I mean, the things that you've done for years, you didn't realize was not, you weren't supposed to do, and how do you do it better? If you were gonna do this program again, what were some of the things that you want, would wanna remind yourself to, to do differently or, or really focus on next time? as far as uh, you know, the first day? Um, hmm. For me, I think the thing that keeps coming up over and over is to be very present and to be more, um, what can I say, more focused on what it is that's happening right now. Because my mind tends to, you know, I'm still thinking about what happened 10 minutes ago. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And anyway, it's just shifting and focusing. I almost would have appreciated being filmed that first day so that I could see, I know there's a huge difference, but I would love to see what a putz I was and what a friggin' star I am now. <laughs> You know, and, you know, I, I like to do stuff like that. But that's, that's like hard. Do, but, that's hard. But you're already under the gun so much. Yeah. You know, that's where it comes back to me where it's like, okay, the dogs come first. And I know that you'd be stressed out so much, or most people would be stressed out so much that it's like, I, I tend not Being to right do. right on camera yeah, the first day. Yeah. The first day. Yeah. And it's just that it would be so remarkable it would be to, to see, see the difference. Because right. you. For really? me, it wasn't really a problem because I looked often like I did the first day. <laughs> <laughs> right up until the end where you find where yeah. the light came Where you nailed it. Some of it. It's, yeah. So. <laughs> That's the it's, it's, it's not just a rehearsal. It's a dress rehearsal. Yeah. It's a dress rehearsal. And there's a lot. There right was there. so much information that first day. I know we both came away going, it didn't seem like we did a lot, but we were both pooped. Yeah. And the guys were pooped. Yeah. So you can understand that for, for, for the dog show, how much stamina you've got to have. And while you have said this over and over, but a treadmill or the various tools that will help you. Yes. Uh, Going we, to the parks. So. Yes. And yeah. that's, well, that's one of the things we, we did too. We went, we to, went to the park. We went to the park, yeah. Tell, us, tell me about that. Um, the park where I uh, apparently had a brain spasm <laughs> and forgot most of what I'd learned, what are you doing with your head? I don't know. <laughs> don't yell at me. Well, the park, I actually really enjoyed that part because yeah. it was fresh okay. air. And there's something about being out in the open that allowed me to feel, um, well, I could walk way far away and just practice by yeah, myself, you, you, you know. Did. And who knows how bad I was. Who knows how bad I really was, but I felt like I was focusing on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so, but just to back up a little bit, the technique that you're um, teaching is so different in terms of how to use the lead mm -hmm. and how to promote the best gait, and and it's really um, so just kind of absorbing the fact that how different that was, accepting it, and then trying to apply that. 
and breaking um, a bad habits very, that we've established. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that being the loose lead and using the hand signals, um, something that I think is super valuable. Crucial, what about crucial? What about in the situation where, like, one of the things I said at the very first beginning of the first day, take everything that you've known and learned and watched and read and forget about it. I mean, how important is that statement right there? That's huge. That's huge. It is huge, but it's a very difficult thing to do, I will say that, because just hitting the delete button. <laughs> as you know, that could be hard to know. What that did you could, pick and exactly. choose? Exactly. <laughs> and I don't think I'm having as much problem with it. I don't mean that sounds harsh. I don't mean to, for it to me. sound harsh. Mm -hmm. well, you have some different. I have issues. You have issues. Um, and I don't. I'm not having an issue with like the loose lead. I'm, I'm having an issue with okay, which way does my hand right, go? Right. But it is so funny. Just well, like okay. I said, walking down the hallway. All of a sudden, I realized Annie was too close, and I did it. And I went, "Oh, for God's sake!" And it's she responded. So she responded. Simple. Yes. Instantly. Yes, I think when I was in the classroom, I was like, "No, nah, I'm doing it wrong." You know, <laughs> he's gonna yell at me. <laughs> well, there's a matter of, um, for me, I've always been, you know, despite some people saying, "Oh, you're so athletic," I'm not. I'm klutzy, and part of klutziness is um, not really knowing. If you're trying to do something with this hand, the other hand starts right. working too. You can't separate them and be very uh -huh, uh -huh. skilled at isolating certain yeah. movements. So my arms would fly up, you know. So I'm really learning that that's so important to just be aware of your body uh -huh. and where it is and um, and how relaxed it is. That's that's number one for me, to just a reminder to self. Tell me <laughs> about a reminder to self the. The importance of eye contact and the height of your hand. Eye contact is a pressure on the dog. It's not just okay. You'd think eye contact might be a good thing because it it, it promotes the fact that you're working together and you're both on the same page. But it it's experienced in the ring as pressure, mm -hmm. and it's distracting for the dog. It's distracting for the human. So it's something one wants to do away with for the purposes of showing, for sure. And then the height of the hand is also, uh, can either um, be something that's that's perceived by the dog as, as um, lack of trust. Well, no, what I was gonna say is either uh, benevolent or benign or threatening depending mm -hmm. on how, as you said, how high it is or low. So when it's benign, that's just something they can use as a signal. If it's too high, it starts to become, Well, it also again, tightens their leash. Tightens their right, leash. Which, is up, which is what you One reason I was trying to raise it high, <laughs> which is not what I'm supposed to do. So yeah. Mm -hmm. What about the difference in steering a dog with a tight lead versus communicating with your hand and having a loose lead? Well, the it's it's a hard habit to break because for me when I learned how to do that I liked that I mean a long time ago I was just felt like oh I can do this but then it was like okay forget that because what you're getting is him fighting you all the time mm -hmm. as soon as you get that it's not like he's like understanding this is what I want him to do so the signals and having him learn how to read the signals where it Again, it doesn't. It's not a battle anymore. It's a dance, and there's communication there. So, I really love that. And unfortunately, in the Basset world, as we've established, a lot of what we see is the steering. You see that tight lead, and you see the steering, even with the pros. So that's what we have both seen. I've seen it for many, many years. So it, it's just something bad you have to ignore and get away from it. Did you see a difference in the dogs as far as them being happy with this versus the other way? Absolutely. Tell me about that. Uh, with Annie, as I've, I've said, I mean, because she is just a puppy and we're just starting her show career. Um, <clears throat> that was one of my primary goals was to get her happy and relaxed and feel confident because I think she is a really pretty little girl. Um, and that's what I've seen. That's what I've seen in three days. And, but I've 
been doing it and Joe does it too, we practice at these little odd moments, you know, as you're getting in the elevator or if you're doing something, you're steering them. Right. And, and that's what it, I mean, it just takes that to click in and start using it every day. Going on a walk, going in the escalator. You know, like I just said, when I went out to the escalator, yeah, that would be good, Chris. If you had <laughs> the elevator, <laughs> and I didn't, I went out to get the crates. I didn't realize that she had snuck out with me, not on a lead, just but right by my side. And I used my hand signals to say, "Come on, babe, come on, let's go back." Mm -hmm. She came right back, went in the room. Babe. Doesn't that feel good? Yes, yeah. amazing. I took, I took amazing. Virgil out for a walk on the. I guess it was last night very tired after dinner, still light out, yeah, we had but we needed line. to take him out. And I took him out and let him off lead when we were at this empty lot and I walked him around. I had him follow me and I used my hand signals and he totally enjoyed it. I loved mm -hmm. it. It was really fun. The only collar I will train on is a flat link collar Absolutely. and a six foot leather lead. And so many people say, oh, you're putting him on a choker. You know, no. tell, tell, talk to those people. Not at all, not a choker at all. It releases. It's it's probably the best thing I have ever seen. I'll never use anything else. That's well, it. The, it. Yeah, it's it's really it makes a louder sound than the other kinds of slip leads. So it gives them a signal. It That's gives the them that point. signal more quickly. Mm -hmm. It's it's a way to get them to understand that there's a new move coming up, and to and heads up to watch the signal. Mm -hmm. Really. And it's just and with a flick so of finger. it's just a great tool. Yeah, and you're just using your finger as a little vibration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's loose, it's not tight on their neck, whereas opposed to the you know conventional style way of different collars or it's choking them. Pinching them and right. pulling their hair and everything you don't want to do. But some people say that's more hu more humane because it's not metal. No. No. Not <laughs> well, there's not also the small, the small uh, metal chains. The smaller gauge ones, but those pinch the hair. They pull right. The hair. They pinch the hair. Mm -hmm. They don't release as easy. They don't make any signals. They just slide. So mm -hmm. there's no communication, and yeah. and that's why the flat links work so so well. Okay, so now we're on day three. We start off yeah at the training facility. Um, tell me about that. Well, a little bit of nervousness because it was going to be our final exam. Mean Eric was there too. Mean Eric, Ooh. that's right. Yeah, that's Real right. Eric. That's right. <laughs> well, we weren't sure if it was going to be Mean Eric or not. <laughs> they kind of up to us. It had to be tough. It had to be tough. And that's right. Yeah. My last so, day with you. I had to be yeah, nervous. it was just another lesson in being being ready and being on and and having a hard time with that lesson. Um, but but when you get it it is it so amazing yeah. yeah when we both happened to get it on the last thing that was <laughs> okay let's stop <laughs> eric wanted to finish on an up note so yeah <laughs> we're gonna stop now <laughs> that how, was that how was did good. that feel when you guys when it all just came together perfect perfect every little step though i mean i mean because it, it all leads up to that it, it every time if you can get them you know to do the when we were free stacking yesterday was actually when we started do, trying to do that and they're both of them were sitting down and we're like okay well, well okay you said well no you're not going to get there in a day keep trying mm -hmm. today they both free stacked yeah and did it beautifully I mean, I mean virgil is amazing he looks amazing when he does that and and just every little piece of it and then when you realize it it all goes together and it just it yeah, is remember what i said so i said good. you know don't worry about the little things. No, I mean, no. it, it's gonna happen. You don't have to have it perfect. You know, Rec that hit home to not what's be negative really... too. Yeah. To not be negative. Don't, yes. Because that was huge yesterday when you said I forget what it was, and I responded, and you said, "No, you're being negative. Don't mm -hmm. be like that. You just you know recognize what a great accomplishment she just did." Right. Hmm. Okay. You know, it's like That's... a lot of times when I have people that have breeds where they have to have a tail up. You know, they'll, the dog will go around yeah. beautifully, and the thing that they're focused on, oh, the, the tail, tail was down. Well, who cares? Yeah. It's going to come around. Yeah. You know, just, and you praise and support, and, you know, and, and it, it just, all of a sudden, it's like a light coming on, like day three today. Absolutely, you know? yeah. And, and, and that's what, pe they patience, you know, the other thing we teach in the class, 
You've got to have patience. And repetition. Do it three times. Three times, exactly. <laughs> and recognize really how much trailing. the body language is so important oh. to the communication with the dog. So subtle. And yes. how, how uh, again, just co constant uh, self-awareness of where your body is in space and how it's what it's communicating. You're only going to get out of this program what you put into it. Yep. You know, I give you the tools, but if you go home and you don't practice the head straight, you don't practice using, you know, the entire system, if yeah. you want it like, well, I'll do this, but I'm not going to do that. You know, it's just not going to work. It's just the way it's designed is you have to use the whole system. You just said something hugely important that mm -hmm. I didn't mention, but that was with Annie, the head straight. You demonstrated that the first day and the method that you use. And while at first you feel like you've got too many fingers and right. thumbs and everything isn't working, bing. Yeah. She stops she got twisting. It. She, she got just it. drops in and you're like, okay, that works. Okay, I want each of you individually to give a message to yourself that is going to assure you that, you know, if if something starts going wrong with a dog, if you get a new dog or you run into a problem or whatever. What's going to be something that's so important that's going to put you back on track from this training program? For me, when I just said head straight, <laughs> that's going to be a huge starting. I, I see that with my other dogs that I have shown over the years, and that is something that it would have helped tremendously. So head straight for me is going to be a key, and hand movements, getting those perfected, getting those language. down, getting those perfect. Perfect. I will be good to go. For me, it's um, visualizing and focusing and being right there at the time and with exactly what the task at hand is and optimizing everything. So the showmanship, the hand movements, the relaxation in my body and being in the awareness of what my body's doing and the connection with, with my dog. You know, so, and not being, losing patience with myself. Yeah, I want you to talk about Eric as the trainer and the class that you, the three-day class that you took, you know, what, what were some real big highlights that you loved that you couldn't get anywhere else, and what are some things that you'd like to see different or some changes that would help people out in the future? I loved going through the system and learning and the, the fact that you were so systematic in, um, for instance, you've got to win the, the coming in, you've got to win the down and back, you've got to win each segment and the judges, that education of knowing that particular piece of information and, and keeping it, being mindful about it is, it was so super useful. Um, I think the only thing that I would say might be um, emphasized or underlined a little bit more is that rules of three. And so, for instance, what I, what I got out of your demonstrating, when, when, for instance, I just couldn't get it, and you demonstrated uh -huh. yesterday when you were taking Virgil out there and you and you said, oh no, you did it again. <laughs> you know, <laughs> just that demonstrating of working with him, he's made, you know, he hasn't done what we wanted, but cheerfully bringing him back again right, and again. Right. So not only, is my being able to see you do the work with him was really useful to me. And it wasn't just a like matter today, of my I... being able to, I can't see myself until I go look at these videos, exactly what I'm doing wrong mm -hmm. or right. You can tell me that looked great, and I kind of feel when it looks feel when it's working. But um, when I can learn more, qu I'm a very visual person, so when I watch you do it, it kind of falls into place for me. At least I feel more confident in what it is I'm supposed to be. Well, like today learning when, about. when he was crabbing, and I took him, and he just he gated straight. Uh -huh. I showed the, uh -huh. the importance of that low hand position. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Good. I like that as well. When you would. Uh, 
didn't do it so much with Annie, but mm -hmm. if I had an issue and would say, okay, I don't understand, and then you would say, watch. <laughs> you, know, you seem to get so, what it is with right, the other, with the person that, right. what it's gonna take, for, and for me, that's what it was. Mm -hmm. When you said, look at your watch, bing, okay, got it. Um, I, I, it's gonna be hard for me to criticize you because even yesterday, well, I'd like to be, Critical. Mean. Yeah, I'd like to. <laughs> um, yesterday you were a little harsh, mm -hmm. but I think you have to be because, by God, we got to get it. We're here three days. Yeah, I don't have four days. Uh, I don't have five days. I got three days. That's it. To give you your money's worth of knowledge to yeah. go back and be happy, successful, win. You know, make sure yeah. your dogs and you have great communication. So, you know, sometimes I, you know, it's just like with the dogs. I mean, if you're wishy-washy with them, oh. uh, then they're going to like, ah, oh, that's not that important. Yeah. And so sometimes with you, I, you know, with, with the people that I'm teaching, not you in general, but, you know, I know I have three days to teach you this information. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I don't bring out the whips and chains or anything, but I'm going to make sure that you're not going to get away with, no, Something. I mean, yeah, you, 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 you got us good a few times, which we needed. But I still and, gave you hugs, though, Yes, too. yes. Well, what was huge for me, which I got from the very beginning, was, mm -hmm. yes, we're your clients, but you were so concerned about the dogs. There's potty breaks, there's play breaks, there's all these things, so they poop and they pee it, okay, they're dogs. Right. They clean it up. Yeah. Uh, and that was huge it wasn't like another class where you have to act like oh, gosh i hope they don't pee well they're no. puppies on top of it and and it's going to happen so i just i thought the whole thing was was great well, i good. learned a trend tremendous amount <laughs> and that makes me you know, yeah absolutely yeah. you're a great yeah. teacher not just saying that oh. because we are on camera but you are a, we both said that, that from obvious, the get that was obvious on the huge. videos that we saw before we came well, good. So, so it just yeah. confirmed it in yeah. person then. Absolutely. Yeah. And we had a great time going to dinners. And... Yeah, we've gone to dinners. <laughs> great pizza at lunch. Oh, the world's best pizza. Uh, mm. I ate two pieces of <laughs> All right, let's go show dogs. What? Maybe, maybe, maybe a lighter lunch. Maybe a lighter lunch. <laughs> practical. I know. I was like... Get yeah. myself after Juliana's. Juliana should be dinner. Not yes, dinner. I know how to say that. Was, that was funny. Note to self. Note to self. Yeah, that was funny. Note to self. <laughs> and, you know, another thing that I, I'm just not quite sure how I want to do yet, but I'd like people, if they're going to fly in from different parts of the country or different, you know, countries, mm -hmm. you know, I'd like them to be able to experience a little bit of either Portland or Seattle and you know, yeah. as as you coming in here, what would you suggest? You know, what would you, what would have uh, like maybe a day where we just like saw the local area or something like that? I know it's like it takes away from great. our teaching time. It takes away from. But our if you had time. a chunk of the day, if mm -hmm. we started earlier than ten, for instance, right. maybe right. that's what I'm just I was thinking say. about it. If you started at nine and went to one, mm -hmm. just kind of straight through, and mm -hmm. then took an afternoon, and even bring that the dogs, would, yeah, get part yeah. of a training, yeah. That would, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I love bringing dogs to different places. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I think yeah. that would be great. Then yeah, that mm -hmm. would be good. See, and the other thing too is like I'm, I try to design this in such a way that where you learn, you know, we're not starting at eight o'clock in the morning, and most of the time we're not ending at nine o'clock at night except for the one day. <laughs> <laughs> but I like to give you guys your own time, so it's like you know when you learn something, you immediately get a chance to practice it mm -hmm. without me present. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's why I like to start sometimes a little bit more like 10. People think it's because I want to sleep in, but... <laughs> Actually, the 10 o'clock start time is great because it does give you that opportunity. Right. You can go out and, and the grounds here are nice. There's, yeah. there's grassy areas, yeah. which I need for my girl. Uh -huh. So, yeah, you can go out and practice. And, yeah, I, I appreciate that. But if Annie's, you just turn Annie's listening. Very she is well from the girl who would not go potty on a lead. Oh yeah, and she's potty on a lead. She's pooping and peeing. So my joke. She's, she's yeah. stretching yeah. with pride right now. She's like, she's yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's right. You didn't trust me, but I learned. Silly yeah. All right, she guys. Did. Well, I'm gonna pop this onto your hard drive too, and then that way you'll have this, and you can go back six months from now, a year from now. You can look at this. I'm gonna try to send you up home with this 
much of a big arsenal of tools that you can have and yeah. then I want you to uh, email me your winner's photos and all these big <laughs> wins and you know yes, and, we will. and when we decide that we breed then you know I want to see puppies <laughs> and you know all those things there and then I'll give you the option tonight since uh, see what time is it right now let's see it is 4:30. 430 you know we can uh, go grab a bite to eat together or we have we, a bottle of wine to drink and oh, we, we like that we were thinking we've of, got the good bottle of we wine we were thinking of Ooh. applebee's for okay. dinner and may, and they would bring and we would bring the bottle of wine yeah and, yeah how do you okay feel that about sounds that? good yeah okay we'll do that and we will make this our final Give me a big hug there. Oh. Mm. And a big hug there. Because mm. remember, I, I hug my friends I and know. I shake the hands of my enemies. That's, that's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs>